Hi, I'm Roger Nilsson. I'm going to show you a little bit the way around how I work in the studio. I use Cubase. I love the program and I've used it for so many years I don't ever want to use another program. I'm um, going to show you a little bit about my process, how I start making a track, how I find sounds and make sounds and find the right sounds. So let's see. I've already started up on a project uh, where I've already made a kick. I can show you. Uh, let's go in here. There we go. I use something called Metrum. It's somebody uh, from the Vengeance Producer Suit guys who made this and they are geniuses. Basically we have four layers you can use. I usually use only two. Like a click for the high end of the kick. As you can hear. And then I make an oscillator as the low. I've already made one with a nice tail and also I've made sure that it goes in the key that I want to use it in. For me, F is a nice key because it has the perfect amount of bass and I've used it in a lot of my own tracks. So, okay, let's try. So I already made a kick. Now I want to have some sort of like a bass. And to be honest, there's nothing better than just using a regular sub bass and massive, silent, everybody has this. So it's basically a sinus wave and it's the low end of the bass. You can like layer them so much. I already made a couple of things and I'll show you how I made them. So let's do this. To make a good low bass, I would suggest uh, not having almost any high or mid end on it. Just use it as it's supposed to be, a low end bass. I use something called Quadrophus to give it a little bit of, let's put it like, like tone, like color. Because when I do this, more dark and then this gives us a little bit more sound. So let's start. Usual 4x4 kick. Now this is a simple way of doing this. Now, what I'm doing is I'm fixing the length of it. Now it's really short. You don't want that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a legato. We shorten it a bit. Now that's a nice offbeat bass. So now you have a nice kick and nice offbeat bass which can be a platform for the rest of your stuff because you can still add stuff on top of that. For me, like making a clean workflow environment is cool. Just like don't have too much stuff on your tracks to begin with either because you will get lost in the end. And I don't like having a lot of stuff on my tracks either. So, okay, so let's see. I've added quite a few things. Here we got a silent. Very clean. I've already made a sound on Spire. Uh, you might recognize it for some of my own my other tracks. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna replicate the same track again. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take everything down because it's all about effects. So here you go.
It's basically just a regular saw wave. Now I got a little bit of EQ on it. I'm gonna take a little bit away of the of the low things because we have a sub bass up there. There you go. Take away the low thing because you have already low bass up there. You don't need to use two. Now, for me to make this like a little bit more alive, I like to use a little bit of reverb. This is sort of like a mid bass thing to make your track bounce more at the low end. And let's face it, I love distortion. This is basically something you can just modulate for like your own preferences, whatever you like. I like to have it a little bit more dirty, I like to have it a little bit more crispy. So I added sort of like a wow phaser thing on it. This is a Spire which I've been using so many times now for so many tracks. It's so easy, it's so hands-on and it's just... I love it. Just listen to the way it changes now. That's really cool. Let's do it like this. I did was put three effects on that synth. It's just a regular uh, soul wave synthesizer, like an initial thing like you have in silent or whatever. Uh, and just add distortion, a little bit of like wow filters on it and some EQ. Reverb as well, just to like make it breathe more. And that's all you need. And then all of a sudden you have like this this sort of like electroish kind of moogish kind of sound to it. That's it, it's just a regular soul wave. It's just like, if you modulate one, you can just do whatever you want with it. And Spire is a very good synth to do that with. But then again, you always have to have the bass and the kick, and now let's get some drums. 